mine. It was my turn to score. No, mine. Okay, time for a Buffy peacekeeping mission. We gotta show them that when you play together, what really matters is having fun together. Hold on, my fairy fellows. <laughs> Please stop arguing. This is no fun. Lampo is right. Let's set up a tournament and have fun. Yeah, a dog <laughs> tournament. And a cat one. <laughs> yeah, so we can see who's the best. Uh, that's not at all what I meant. Should I tell them? Wait, Lampo. Let them do the tournament. We'll stand by them and show them they can have real fun when everyone's having fun. <laughs> if you want to set up a tournament, the Buffy Cats will lend you a paw. <gasps> help us win? No, help you have fun together. I'll give you some tips, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll help you, Terry. I can help you out, Bucky. And I got you covered, Sushi. But can we take a snack break first? Later. Hmm. Right now, we have a Buffy mission. <laughs> Let's get started. Each of you will get to choose a trial once you get this yarn ball. Here, Bucky, it's up to you to choose the first trial. To win the ball, I challenge you to a game of fetch. Watch out, though. I'm the best. The four of us will run from one ramp to the next. The Buffy Cats will throw the ball. As we jump the ramps, we have to grab the balls in the air and take them back to the Buffy Cats. Whoever fetches the most wins the yarn ball. Ready? First throw! Sorry, Terry. That's okay. Oh. Thank you. Helps Igor train better. Sorbet or ice cream, Zoe? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! I got it! Ah! Oh! Ouch! <laughs> Look, Terry brought us four green balls. Terry, you were the only one who brought back all your balls. I win the yarn ball! It's my turn to choose a trial. But I thought I'd win, though. You're looking for a game to play outdoors, right, Buffy Cats? That's right, Wrench. Do you have something we can all play together? Let's see. Oh. Huh? <laughs> this is the scrapyard game. The most possible game ever. Wow! Let's do it! Oh, my whiskers! It's raining again! Don't worry, Buffy Cats. Rain won't stop us from playing. We'll take shelter in my workshop. Cosmo, the astronaut cat! Hi, Buffy Cats. Hello, Wrench. Mind if I wait here until the rain stops? No problem, Cosmo. <sighs> but why do you look so sad? My rocket's stuck in a pile of washing machines. And with this rain, I'll never be able to get it out. Don't worry, Cosmo. The Buffy Cats will lend you a paw. We will? How? With this. The Scrapyard Game. It's a meteorite. We're going to play Space Adventure. <laughs> yeah! The washing robot took Cosmo's rocket. They're going to attack us. with my space walkie-talkie. This is Commander Lampo to Moon Base. Buffy alarm! This is Lunar Base. What's up, Commander Lampo? The washing robots are attacking! Buffy Cats, let's get ready to defend ourselves! <laughs> Charge the energy spheres, Lieutenant Meatball. <laughs> wow! Buffy attack! <laughs> Yeah. Great job! Reload the chicken slingshot. Quick, Meatball, quick! This isn't an energy sphere. It's a cat tree. <laughs> this is 
isn't a cat treat. It's an energy spear. <laughs> Go on, Pilu. We can make it. Cats, you're the greatest furry fellows in the whole world! The Buffy Cats never abandon their friends! Not even on the moon! Ada, can you wash the dishes? Ada washes dishes for the Buffy Cats. Oh. <laughs> Ada can do anything! Ada, can you clean the kitchen? Ada cleans the kitchen for the Buffy Cats. Cats, now that Ada is taking care of the house, let's do something for Granny. Right, Pilu. Ada can help us. <laughs> Now's my chance. <laughs> Ada detected a spot. <laughs> Ada, can you cook up some vegetable soup? The soup prepares the Buffy Cats for the vegetables. What's she doing? Cat treats and cuddles. How do I find whoever I have to deliver it to? Where does he live? Hey. Oh, uh, sorry, boss. 
Watch where you're going, Meatball. Actually, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, really? Then go and have Cop, the police cat, handcuff you to something before you get lost. Oh, that's a great idea, boss. Cop knows everyone in town. He'll tell me who to deliver this envelope to. Oh, thank you, Aww. thank you. Don't thank me, you ratty cat. <laughs> cat huh? treats and cuddles, I'm a cuddlehead. What's Meatball up to? I'd better follow him and find out. So what do you think, Cop? Can you help me track down the owner of this envelope? Sure. A good police cat always knows how to find clues. Look, Meatball, the stamp has a picture of some corn. Is that a clue? Mm. Yes. My sense of smell tells me that the recipient of this envelope is on a farm. <laughs> what crazy nonsense are they up to? Ah, thanks, Cop. I'll go right now so I can get cat treats and cuddles. Interesting plan, Meatball. But I'm the one who will get cat treats and cuddles. <laughs> wow! Awesome! awesome! I might be able to help. Did, did you do that? Yes. My name's Will. Will? You mean the legendary basket for champion? <laughs> I've been watching you play. Listen. Playing basket fur means working hard the whole game. One little distraction, and it's over. I can be your coach, if you promise to work hard. You have our word. Right, Puffy Cats? Yeah! Good. First things first, let's go over the rules of basket fur. Basket fur is played three against three. But we... Don't worry, Lampo. I'll be ready for you! To score points, just get the ball into the basket. If you throw the ball from the green zone, you score one point. If you throw the ball from the yellow zone, you get three points instead. After the first basket, you switch to a heavier ball of yarn. And after the second one, you use a ball made of lead. This ball can be handled by two cats at the same time. <sighs> Lucky me. After three baskets, the team with the most points wins the game. First exercise, ball lifts. How hard can that be? Look. Too light. You'll train with those ones. Go, Puffy mm -hmm. Cats! After this, normal basket fur yarn balls will feel super light. What you need is some extra incentive. Donut! <laughs> Meatball, no food during training. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh, that wasn't in the recipe. Hey, Buffy losers. <laughs> no matter how hard you train, you'll never win. Don't listen to them. They're trying to make you lose confidence. <sighs> it's working. We're already so tired, Will. We're never going to make it tonight. Don't give up, Buffy Cats. You've been working so hard. Will is right. We need to train more to get in shape and no food during training. That's the spirit, Meatball. If you train, nothing is impossible. Second exercise, passing. To catch the yarn ball, be the yarn ball. Go, When I said be the yarn ball, that's not what I meant. Come on, Buffy Cats. This way. Isn't it dangerous? You can trust him, Pilu. Uncle Greg is a ranger cat. 
Uncle! Can't we just eat here? We better follow them, Pilu. Go on, Buffy Cats. Our ranger cat who hesitates is lost. Wow, Uncle Greg is really tough. Yeah, Lempo, and he knows a lot of trails. Too many. I found the right trail! <laughs> Here we go. Just like that time I crossed the longest and dirtiest puddle in the world. That was a tough one. That's why they gave me this badge. Wow. How did he know that there was a log there? Uncle Greg is a ranger cat. Uncle! Uh, can we stop here? A ranger cat who hesitates is lost. Okay, but we can't follow that trail. How do we cross the river? Uh, Buffy Cats, look! We can use that vine! I love adventure! Buffy Cats, on three! One, two, three! Follow me! One, two, three! Uh, I didn't mean all at once! Ah! Isn't this day trip possible? And it's just getting started! <laughs> Come on, Buffy Cats! Let's catch up with Uncle Greg! But I'm so hungry. I got this badge for climbing Yarn Peak using only my tail. Watch your step, Buffy Cats. Are we there yet, Uncle? Not yet. I need to get higher to have a better view. I don't see the peak of Cat Mountain. Uh, but how can he not see that rock is gonna fall? Uh, Uncle Greg can't see well at all. And, and you're, you're telling, telling us now? now? The peak was over there. Once. <gasps> Buffy Cats, Uncle Greg could get hurt. We have to get him. But Lampo, how can we get down there? Uh, with these big leaves. We'll use them to glide. They didn't move the peak, did they? It should be here. Oh, maybe over there. Buffy Cats, move it! Found it! <laughs> That's the right direction. Uncle Greg! Ah! Jump off that rock! Ah! Where's Uncle Greg? Ah! <laughs> I've been on so many trips in my career as a ranger cat, but this is the most relaxing one, for sure. Right, me Meatball? Later, sheriffs. Limpo, who are these two ugly mugs? I don't know, Meatball. Hey, strangers, take your boots and go. <sighs> hey, buddy, do we have boots? No, Darren's keep sleeping. Uh, Yee-haw! Huh? Quit yapping and put your paws in the oh. sky, cowboy. Well, I'll be corralled. What manner of cats are you? We're cowboy cats like you. My name is Meatball, and this is Lampo. <sighs> I'm Buddy, and the big talker in the cell is my brother, Darren's. Howdy, cowboys. We need to lock these streets in the sheriff's office. Can you please leave? Uh, nope. Cause we're the new sheriffs. We were here first. <laughs> well said, Darren. But Lampo, we've always been the sheriffs. You listen up. Meow City ain't big enough for four sheriffs. What do you say we compete for the sheriff star? A game to see who's the most sheriffy sheriff. Oh, my meatballs! This is getting serious! Cowboys! We've got our game's first contest all ready! Aim true with your banana and throw it straight into your partner's mouth! <laughs> <laughs> That's the right challenge for us! What do you say, buddy? Mm, buddy doesn't care. Buddy? If we're the sheriffs, we'll be watching over all those crunchy treats. On second thought, I'm game for this banana game, Darrence. Huh? 
A sheriff's gotta be fast on the paw. Sure enough, they call me the fastest paw in the West. Quit messing around and take aim, Darrance. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, there you go. Mm, was that so hard? I like this game. Go, Lampo, hit the target. <laughs> oh, look, I found a corn cob. Huh? Yum, looks delicious. Well, I'll make it on the first try. <laughs> um, 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 good cat, you did it. No, I wanted to eat it. Pretty fast for a rookie. It ain't over till it's over. There are two more contests to go. Blister, scab, you realize no one's watching the sheriff's office right now. <laughs> right, boss, and I'm sure you got a plan. Naturally, scab, follow me. This place is dark. I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. Hey, Krill, stick together. It's our pirate cat code. Oh, there's the lucky doubloon. And three doors. But which one is the right one to open? The map says to follow the symbol of the cat. Oh. Yo ho ho! Here we go! I don't think so, baby pie. Uh, looks like a dark tunnel that leads to the pirate's hideout. Come on, ye hearties! Catbeard's treasure is waiting for us! According to the map, there should be a bridge. There it is! But how can we get it in the right place and pass through? The map says to pull all the levers up. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it worked, Bucky! I pull another one! <laughs> what was that? Touches us, we'll scratch for a month. No! The lever is down! Ah! I can hold it up. Wait, Bucky! If you hold the lever, how are you going to get through? I don't know, Pilu. Neko told us to use the lucky doubloon the right way, but how? Yes! The drawbridge is blocked now! What do I do, Pilu? Should I let the lever go? Yes, Bucky, and then run! Huh? Ah! Yay! Yay! Thank you, Lucky Doubloon! Mwah! All right, crew, onward to Catbeard's treasure! Actually, no. It's just nine tile pieces and two gems. Check it out! There's a cat's head on the map. It's divided into several parts. And a door opening! I don't see any buttons or levers. How do we open the door? I got it! It's like a puzzle! To open the door, we have to solve it and put the pieces in the right place. Puzzles are mm -hmm. fun! Let's try it out! <laughs> the puzzle is finished, but the door still won't open! How can we get to the treasure? <gasps> it's time to use the lucky doubloon! Oh, no, 
Nampo? Come on, you really can't guess? <coughs> guess the stinky cat! Hello, my lady. Hi, Pilu. Have fun. Hi, Hi Gas. Have, Have a nice day. Saturated <laughs> <Catcherated> cat tastic. <laughs> I get a meatball. You want to turn playing catch charades. Is it a big animal? <laughs> An elephant? <laughs> ah, a dinosaur. <laughs> a mouse. A giant mouse. It's in the kitchen. <laughs> meatball. There's no such thing as a giant mouse. You should know. They're tiny. And... Ah! Oh, my whiskers! Huh? I knew it. There's no such thing as a giant mouse. But we do have a small guest in our house. Ah, there you are. Don't come any closer. Don't be scared, Mousy. We don't want to hurt you. If you're hungry, just ask. Especially if you're hungry for noodles. Huh? I'm not hungry. Then tell us what's bothering you. Consider us your furry fellows. My name is Tap Tap. I'm here looking for help. To save my children, Tic, Tac, and Toe. <laughs> we crossed paths with three ratty cats who tried to grab us. <laughs> Run for cover! <laughs> I got the three cats to chase me so Tic Tac and Toe could hide in a safe place. I managed to lose them, and then I came here looking for help. But I don't know if you cats would be willing to help a mouse. Huh. We're the Buffy Cats. We always help those in need. That's right, Lampo. Don't worry, Tap Tap. We'll help you save Tic Tac and Toe. Oh, thank you. You are my furry fellows. We have a Buffy mission. Let's help Mara get to the airport on time. Ah, Buffy losers. Handed a perfect opportunity to play a prank on this hippo, and what do they want to do? Help her. Buffy Cats, we've got to get Mara to the airport without anybody noticing. Nampo's right. Humans aren't used to seeing a hippo walking around town. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. We'll disguise Mara as a human being. How can I look like a human, m'lady? <sighs> we just need the right outfit. Something bigger. The biggest one we know is. Uh, you mean me? Mara! Meepa's outfit suits you perfectly! Thanks, Pilu! We're ready to go! The plane to Africa will be loaded with stuff marked with this label. Ah, I get it! That label has the outline of Africa. Mm hmm. Hmm, good to know. We can all fit if we take Granny Pina's bike. But I can't reach the pedals. Don't worry, let us handle it. To go super fast, we'll need super energy. And I have just the thing. Granny Pina's noodles! It's in the noodles of Granny Pina. A play their superpower, a your and reliever. You eat them hot with me, Ragu. They'll help you grow all tall and stop your feeling blue. Because a plate of noodles. This is the perfect opportunity to get all the Buffy cats stuck on a plane to Africa. <laughs> With this magnet, I'll lift up their bike and drop them in a shipping crate. We're slowing down! Blow harder, Buffy cats! <gasps> oh, Mo, 
almost there. I'll catch you now. No, this isn't what I had in mind. On second thought, I could use this. Massacre, here I come! Look, there are two humans on the crosswalk. Don't worry, we'll pass between them. Are they mimes? Pretending to carry something invisible? Those aren't mimes! That's a sheet of glass! Mara, turn! Turn! <laughs> <laughs> Yum! A bowl full of candy left out, and no one's around? Meepo, you've been caught red pod. Ha 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 ha! Hey, who turned out the lights? Trick or treat. Help! Help! I promise I'll never read the candy again! Whoa! Help, Poppy Kids! Ah! Meepo, what's got you so scared? Limpo, help! There's a witch in the kitchen! Look, I'm shaking with fear! Hmm, did the witch look something like her? Ah. Hello, Buffy Cats! Ah! Here she comes! It's her, the witch! Sorry to scare you, Meepo. Isata? Is that really you? But why are you dressed up like a witch? Because it's Halloween. And tonight, we're gonna team up, Buffy Cats. Super Possum! We'll take turns trick-or-treating. That way, people will give us lots of candy. Ooh. Halloween would be my favorite holiday, except for the Halloween monster. Come on, Meatball. There's no such thing as the Halloween monster. <laughs> Trick or treat! <laughs> Trick or... Hey, aren't you scared even a teeny tiny bit? Nothing scary about you. I'm going trick or treating now. Bye! No, oh, she thinks she's some kind of Halloween queen, walking around with those ratty cats. Hey, boss? But we'll show them. We'll get way more candy. Winston's honor. <laughs> Trick-or-treat. Uh, no thanks. I'm not interested in any encyclopedias, and I already have four vacuum cleaners. Go on, m'lady. It's your turn. Oh, what a nice kitty. You know, I guess I can give you a few treats. Here you go, Meepo. You hold the treats. Oh, they all look so yummy. Don't eat them, Meatball. They're for all of us to share. Oh, I know that, Lampo. I solemnly swear not to touch a single one till the end of the night. We trust you, Meatball. Now let's go get more candy. Oh, I just hope we don't run into the Halloween monster. We've come to the most important thing. The birthday cake. It's super late. Granny will be here soon. It's over. We'll never be done in time. There'd need to be at least ten of us. Hey, what are the birdies doing? As I live and meow. The birdies are making the cake! Possum! They want to help! If we team up, we can do it! Come on, Buffy Cats! Let's go! Knead the dough. Mix it up! Peanut is coming inside. 
worry, Pilu. I'll distract Granny so you can finish the cake. What bad weather today. Luckily, I'm home with my kitties. Hello, lady. Some more cuddles, little sweetie. Milady, you really want to play today. Oh? Milady, where are you? Hmm. Where are my kitties? Hmm. How strange. It's so quiet. What happened to my sitting room? Oh, kitties, aren't you funny? Why are you wearing those hats? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. I suppose I'll wear one, too. <laughs> What's this? A cake? How beautiful. But, but, but what are we celebrating? Meow. 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 Oh, of course, kitties. You're right. Today is my birthday. I had totally forgotten. Buffy mission accomplished, Buffy cats. All thanks to the little birdies. And now, kitties, <laughs> time to taste this wonderful cake. I take it back. Oh, you liked the cake. You can come back on my next birthday, birdies. Well, the cake's gone. That means we'll be celebrating with some nice... <laughs> vegetable soup. <laughs> Meowpaw had no way to escape. The orangutans had him cornered. Was he going to face them or give up? He could fight with the frog tongue and use his battle cry. <laughs> Meowpaw decided to face them. He knew cat food moves better than anyone else. His frog style was legendary, unique. Absolutely unbeatable. That day, Meowpaw fought against 99 ninja orangutans. <gasps> and with that battle, Grandpa became a cat food legend. Wow, I wouldn't want to be in those ninja orangutans' shoes. <sighs> Good point, Meatball. Nobody can beat the frog tongue. Thanks, m'lady. It's also good for digestion. Keep telling us the story, m'lady. Uh -huh. How did the Meow Paw fight end? Did he finally manage to defeat all those ninja orangutans? Uh, well, Pilu, actually, nobody knows how it went. Except me. Huh? Grandpa? Oh, the, the legendary, legendary Meow Paw. I beat 99 ninja orangutans. One after another. Like this! Ooh, the legendary frog tongue! But how did you do it, Grandpa? You'll have to wait. Don't you want to tell us? No, one doesn't talk with one's mouth full. Wow, what wisdom! I beat them by putting the frog style into practice. I want to master the frog style, too. Only Kato, your master, can choose the style you need to learn. Buffy Cats? Hello, Hello Master, master Kato. Kato. After the hard training that you did, in the final Cat Fu show, you'll have to commit. Final show? What does that mean? Each of you will perform a Cat Fu style, and all together, a routine you will try. Pilu. Oh. 
Yuodo ladybug style, delicate and controlled, it achieves every goal. Lampo, you will do dragonfly style, instinctive and fast, the surprise ending sublast. Meatball, you will do bumblebee style, strong and winning, with its bonbon spinning. Milady, you will do the bee style, determined and gentle, precision physical and mental. But I wanted to learn the frog style. And the great Meow Paw, hero of heroes, We'll review all of your performances. Grandpa, will review me? See you tomorrow. And train hard, please. So performing in front of the audience will be a breeze. I hope I won't disappoint you, Grandpa. It's nice to see you, my cherry blossom. What advice can you give us, great Meow Paw? Mm, yeah, what does a cat food master eat? What can we do to avoid making mistakes? Practice together, dear lotus flowers. Only this way will you blossom. It's time for you to start training for the show. Come to Cat Mountain once you're ready. <sighs> I gotta do my best. I can't disappoint Grandpa. Subscribe to the channel!